Spring is here and flower gardens are in full bloom, but that kind of art doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of work. That is why Just Lift Fitness wants to help you tend to your body before you tend to your garden. Jackie Arico and Linnea Lonas join us with tips to avoid aches and pains that come with all that planting and weeding and uh, everything that's garden related here. Yes. Ladies, thanks for being with us. Thank Yay. you so thanks much for having, having us. Yes, so I love your story. So you guys kind of played against each other in eighth grade basketball and then came back together in college on the yes. same basketball team and that's kind of how you met. We Come. were rivals. Yep. Wow. And then we ended up being dynamic duo teammates. So then okay. how does it go from that to creating a business? Yeah. Yeah. So we actually opened in February of 2020 and I knew that I needed some help and I needed a, a right hand woman and I knew that she was the one for the job. So I roped her in. So I left the corporate world and we started our own business. Awesome. I love that. Okay, so Linnea, what kind of work did you do before this? I worked for a medical based fitness center where we helped all types of okay. individuals and now we service um, young adults, uh, um, active older adults mm -hmm. and anybody who's looking to stay healthy and fit. Moms yeah. and dads. Yeah. So both of you have kind of always been involved in fitness. It's something that came natural to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. There wasn't another choice. This was just our born path. Perfect. I love it. Okay, yeah. so we're talking about gardening today, and I think a lot of people, yeah. especially ones who are more active, are thinking, okay, yeah. it's not that hard. You're going outside into a garden. But when you're out there, yes. and especially yes. if you're not incredibly active to begin with, uh -huh. there are going to be aches and pains that we need to focus on. Yes. Absolutely. So what we want to do is we kind of want to dig in, and we want to start with doing a self-assessment. So when you wake up in the morning, and you know you're going to have a long day's work, we need to see if there's anything that's kind of tight or giving you okay. pains. So Jackie mm -hmm. is actually going to kind of demonstrate some of, the, some of the things we want to do to like warm up our body. So yeah, okay. the first one, really important, because guess what? We have a lot of knee pain. Yeah. Quad stretching. Okay. And if you can't do this, you, all you have to do is tap your toe because we want to stretch out the front of our body. Mm -hmm. Something. Yes. We yes. need to move it. And well, then, Jackie's incredibly fit. Now, Jackie, <laughs> is this something that even someone like yourself who's incredibly fit needs to do yes. in the morning? Yes. Okay. I love so to warm it, up because okay. I also get injuries. Oh, so okay. I would rather be... Know. Injury free, pain free, and so doing these steps is super important. All right, continue, yes. Sorry. So then, obviously, getting down on the ground and getting back up, we want to practice our squat. So, okay. a lot of times people just go down. We want to make sure we're actually sticking our hips back, stacking those shoulders above our hips. Okay. And then last but not least is we really want to make sure we're going to work all of our rotational movements because springtime, whether you're golfing or you're raking, Jackie's going to reach down, touch those toes, stretching all the way up with that upper body to make sure that our back is not going to be an issue. I think this is so smart because, I mean, I would think about maybe stretching before I was going for a run or, yeah. or an exercise or, you know, playing sports on the weekends as I do. <laughs> as you do. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, but in terms of gardening, you wouldn't think about it, but you do really need to stretch before gardening. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then when it comes to, like, the movement itself. Now, I don't know about you, but I love gardening, and yeah. that's one of my favorite, like, Mother's Day traditions. So Aww. when we're going to start this, you know, one of the major things is, is okay, we have to have our dirt. Yeah. And a lot of times when we go to do this, you're just not thinking about it. So Jackie, oh. being... Okay the smart lifter that she is, she's gonna oh. approach the bag nice and close, staying nice and tall. So this is how you do a proper deadlift. So a lot of times people will reach out in front and yeah. that's when that injury happens. So you wanna keep it close. She's using the knees. Using right the knees. So don't just bend over at the yes. hips. Absolutely. We wanna use the legs so that we're not using that lower back, okay. right? Because a lot of times we get that stiff lower back. I feel like you don't realize too, because a lot of the movement is so monotonous. Like if yeah. you're raking Correct. or if you're down below, and you don't realize because you're so into what you're doing that you've been hunched over for the last hour. Right, so let's yes. talk about that. So raking, you said okay. it. A lot of times what we're doing is such a repetitive motion, whether uh -huh. it's shoveling snow or raking those leftover fall leaves. What do you do? You end up using one side, yeah. which is gonna kill your back the next day. So I challenge all the viewers out there, if you're doing it on one side, mm -hmm. make sure you do it on the other that to make yourself so stay weird symmetrical. Though, but yeah, it does. Yeah, but you have to do both sides. Oh, I love that. And then I would say one of the other big things is getting down on the ground when it's finally time to plant those beautiful flowers that you're looking for. A lot of times when people stand up, they don't know how to get up. What's oh, the most true. easy, non-crazy looking way? Well, we want to focus on Getting up, we want to put one leg in front or use a bench. Use our gardening bench. Jackie's going to place one leg in front. Stand nice and tall and push yourself up so that you have tall posture and that you're not going to hurt your knees in an awkward motion. Okay. So that's called your split squat. 
Oh. I was sitting okay. crisscross applesauce the other day on the floor, and I needed help <laughs> getting up. Yeah, like, I'm at that like, age now where I'm just like, yeah, like, you need... You mean on the, on I'm the living room floor, not yes. like gardening. No, I wasn't even <laughs> gardening, you guys. So this is so... Like, I should have been doing... Flexibility, mobility, yes. and use those this. legs. And so, okay. friendly tools. let's say you do get hurt, or maybe even afterwards if you don't, yes. but the, like, a Theragun type thing is good. Yes. So, active recovery, especially after we've done those movements, mm -hmm. is really also going to help with injury prevention or if we do pull a muscle and get an injury. So these are two, two of our favorite okay. tools here. And for the foam roller, we simply okay. just lay on the back here yeah. and get the lower back, get the upper back because we just use oh. all of those muscles, right? So repetitive motion, okay. we just use all of those muscles. And then really, our ultimate favorite is it's the massage. Yeah. So yeah. if so you, you worked all day, to pull the muscle. This is like just, we're just doing this. Your yes, it's yeah. pre. So it's pre even Got before it. so that you don't pull the muscles. Mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorite yeah. things to get. Jackie will either do it on your upper back. Do you have your girls tried this? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is I, I mean yeah. this is this is what I do. Yes. This is my this is the <laughs> does that I kind of right. work out? This is the sport for me. Uh, right there. I love it. I love it. Oh it's so gosh. good. It is. And that's one of the best ways to make sure that you're gonna prevent feeling sore the next yes. day. So it's like oh. you're planning ahead because you're doing con inconsistent movements or super repetitive movements. Yeah. And what are you gonna do? You wanna make yeah. sure that you're set to go no matter what. And we right? should mention, oh, I'm sorry, you guys yeah. have a new location opening yes. also in Clarton Hills. Yes. 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 We are building out our second location and Congratulations. we are having our grand opening party actually this Friday. Oh. So, so oh. stop on awesome. by, it's gonna be from four to seven and we're gonna have a lot of giveaways. And then for anybody who's actually looking at us today and being a viewer, if you call us or mention us, we will give you 50% off of your first assessment with us. I love Ooh, that. My goodness. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> indeed. Listen, I'd love to look like either of you. Look, look <laughs> fantastic. I'm going to tell you, you were out doing yard work this weekend. I was. This is what you're going to have to do before. More therapy. Yeah, next in my weekend. Yep. All right, for more information, you can go to jlfitnesstraining.com or find them on Facebook and Instagram. Jackie Linnea, thank you so much for being with us. Thank, thank you, you so much for having us.